happened uh, here from here in Miami in 2015. But uh, despite being a new organization, we have already made tremendous impact in communities we serve. And um, we are about almost five years, so four, four months, about four months short for five years. And uh, um, we successfully implemented 32 programs, but not here only in, um, in Florida, but also in Ukraine and Mexico. Ukraine, only reason I'm mentioning because of uh, um, I'm originally from Ukraine, and uh, uh, we open. I've been helping people over 25 years, but <laughs> the organization opened literally five years. So, uh, so I decided to do it more officially. Only reason because I couldn't do everything on my own. Um, until this point, I was literally um, financing everything, every program, um, my family and myself. And we were all our program being financed by, by us, but um, it's a little bit been hard here for me. So um, I started reaching out to different organizations, exactly like yours and other organization and the uh, companies. And we're figuring out how to write a grant right now. And we try to reach out to everybody else so we can continue to serve um, our families. We have about 360 families in Ukraine, and um, they have only 87, I think, families here, and 42, yeah, I believe, I'm not going to lie, right now, <laughs> Mexico. We start Mexico, we did only for Christmas there. And, um, but this year, I'm not sure if I will be able to even uh, do the program in Mexico this year, because I have uh, myself, it's been difficult. If we will be able to get some kind of uh, help, then we will. Um, so, um, and we have a different kind of programs that we run throughout the year. We have, we just finished our back to school program that we did here in Miami. And um, so it's pretty much every August, we provide kids loaded with essential school supplies to underprivileged children. Um, we really believe that this program serves to eliminate one of the many hard lessons poorest individuals face in obtaining quality education. And uh, this program we have in Miami and in Ukraine. Um, then we have a food basket program that also we have Miami in Ukraine uh, every June and November, Thanksgiving actually. This is what next, our next program will be in thanks for Thanksgiving. We put together baskets filled with pantry staples, um, what, what goes there, pasta, rice, canned foods. Um, cookies, candies, and other household items, maybe like uh, paper towels, we put soaps, laundry detergent, and different items. So we usually put about 35, 40 different items in our baskets. And when I say baskets, we don't do little tiny baskets. We do those big laundry baskets. <laughs> we fill them and literally people have a okay, hard, time, hard, hard time even um, yeah, to take those baskets. But um, we believe that uh, it will help them sustain them for a week or two, not for just, uh, you know, like other organizations do. They have a um, little cup or a little, little something and a couple of chocolates there. No, we don't believe in that. So um, we try to, you know, we try to help people in, who live in the below the poverty line. And, and we try to help them with the hunger. And um, we have also a holiday program um, that we do this this program we do in three countries miami ukraine and mexico and this is every december we offer the holiday version of the food baskets kind of like what everything that we put in food baskets all this uh, staples and um in, with including all basic food supplies and um in tradition staples for holiday traditional holiday meals right and but as well as the sweets and toys for children this time so it's only how it's uh look different this uh, just because we have a more concentrated on children and we give them more toys and sweets. Mm -hmm. 